Hey there, James and Jazz here, and we are continuing on in our series of how to train using the circular resistance bands. So I know you've probably seen them at the gym, maybe you have some at home and you're like, how do I use these? So we are walking body part by body part on how to train using these. So past videos and past weeks, we focused on how to train the back, the chest, and the arms. And today is all about the shoulders. And yes. next week we're focusing on legs. So today we are rocking our Versa grips because they take our workouts to the next level. And James is going to walk you through an instructional video on how to train the shoulders. So just an instructional video, it's not a full length workout, but he will give you great tips and form. That way you can do the workout on your own time. And I'm going to jump out of the shot and then I will join up with you at the end. Okay, so let's jump into this shoulder workout. We're going to start with a shoulder press. That's a great way to really bulk the shoulders and honestly a great way just to warm up all the delts of the shoulders because you do have the front delt, the mid delt, and the rear delt. So shoulder press, great way to grow that muscle. So we're just gonna step wide on the bands or maybe shoulder, a little over shoulder width, whatever, depends what works for you on what weight you have of band. So you're gonna have to decide that for yourself. Uh, for this particular one, I like to put the Versa grips against the band like that. So that way I don't get uh, the rubber rubbing against my hand, giving me calluses, whatever uh, the case may be. So just gonna do a shoulder press like this, standing about shoulder width on the bands, pressing up, boom. Coming down so this hits my chin, just under my chin. Breathing out as I press up and really squeezing at the top. Really squeeze those shoulders. All right, so that's the first exercise. The next one is a front delt raise. So that is going to hit the front delt of the shoulder. Right there is where the front delt is. So I'm going to wrap the resist the Versa grips around the bands this time, like that. That way I don't drop the Versa grips. They don't slip or don't drop the bands. They don't slip out of my hands. So I'm just simply going to stay on the bands about shoulder width apart is what works for me with the weight that I have here. And I'm going to raise the resistance bands up to about nose height. Boom, right there. Really squeezing those shoulders at the top. Boom, I feel it in the front delts. <sighs> Breathing out as I come up. <sighs> nice hold for a moment. <sighs> Good. Next exercise is going to be the side delt raises. So I'm just gonna slide my hands out a little bit further with these Versa grips to about right in here. And then raise up to the side. I have a slight bend in my elbows raising up to the side, keeping my chest up, really feeling that squeeze in that side deltoid there. Breathing out as I come up. Whew, that's a good burn. You could also, if you wanted to switch it up a little bit, you could do a single arm like this. Boom, put the other hand on the hip. And then, of course, you're going to want to make sure that you hit the other side as well. All right. The final exercise is the rear delt fly. So we hit the front delt, the side delt. Now we're going to hit that rear delt in behind there. Step wide on the bands. And, of course, I'm wrapping my Versa grips around. And I'm just going to squeeze out like that. Squeezing through the rear delts. It's like a fly motion, keeping a slight bend in the elbows, breathing out as I squeeze back. And that is it, y'all, for the shoulders. So we hit full shoulders. Again, we bulk the shoulders, add a little mass to the shoulders by doing the shoulder press. And then we did the fly motions, the front delt to hit, to really single out that front delt, bring those striations in there. The side delt, to hit that side delt, bring the striations in through the side delts. And then of course that rear delt fly down here to hit that rear delt 
build up that rear delt and bring some nice striations in through the rear delt. So you'll have nice striated shoulders, well-defined shoulders. If you hit all these different exercises, hopefully you enjoyed that. And hopefully you'll check out some of our other videos as well. I'm gonna bring Jasmine back in and we're gonna do our closing. We hope you enjoyed today's instructional video. Just a reminder, we also have videos on how to train using circular resistance bands for your back, your chest, and your arms. And next week we will have a video all about legs. So please check it out if you are enjoying this series. But what else do we have to share with them? That's right, y'all. And when you go to jamesandjazz.com and you click on that videos tab, you're gonna notice three different sections of videos. While we're on physically fit, you'll notice that the physically fit uh, tab is the second tab. So you're gonna see videos just like what we filmed today, as she mentioned, but also with other different pieces of equipment like dumbbells, uh, kettlebells, regular resistance bands that have the handles. Um, and then we also have full length workouts as well. So if you're like, you wanna do the full length workout with us, those are 20, 30, 45 minutes, some of them, then you can do the full length workout with us. Dumbbells, resistance bands, kettlebells, cardio. Um, cardio in place. So I think that you'll really enjoy those as well if you want something where you're being instructed, being instructed all the way through. Uh, beyond that, we don't just do physically fit videos, we also have spiritual videos. That's the first category. Uh, that is Bible study with us. And we also have topical stuff. So people will send us topics, they wanna to learn about something and we'll bring scripture to it and film on that. So check out that spiritual videos tab. And then we have life and relationships is our last tab. Life, the life part of it is to help you to get to know us better, some events in our lives, monumental moments, ways just to really, like I said, help you to get to know us better. And then we have the relationship side where we wanna help you to have healthy relationships. So we filmed some great videos to help you in that area as well. If you wanna stay in the loop on what's going on with James and Jazz, you can also follow us on social media. It's a great way to do that. So you'll see those icons on the top and bottom of our homepage. Um, and we have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Be sure to follow us, like us, and subscribe to our YouTube. Yes, if you scroll to the bottom of our website, jamesandjazz.com, you'll see where you can subscribe to our email list. Yeah. And right next to that is how you can book us to speak at an event, whether it's a church, a conference, a school. Let us know the details and we'll get right back with you. At the top of our website, you'll see the donate tab. First of all, thank you so much for partnering with us in prayer. We are so appreciative. And secondly, we just want to give you the opportunity to partner with us financially. Obviously, no pressure or obligation. We give all of our videos to you completely for free. But if you feel like these videos have really helped you and you're like, hey, James and Jazz, I'd love to sew $10 into your ministry just to say thank you and to keep going. So we would greatly appreciate that yeah. and receive it. Yeah. So. We're normal people, we have regular bills, and we would love to do this full time and yeah. give you high quality content. So thank you for any donation that you have. And right next to that, Christian ladies, check out that courses tab. But other than that, that's all the information I have. That's right, we thank you guys once again so much for checking out this video and all the other videos, and we look forward to seeing you on jamesandjazz.com. <laughs>